हाई फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डायल्यूशन सो द डायल्यूशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन बाय एडिशन ऑफ सॉल्वेंट सो वट एवर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ डिजाइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वी वॉन्ट वी हैव टू एड द सॉल्वेंट इन इट एंड वी हैव टू डिक्रीज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ दैट सोल्यूशन इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर हंड्रेड पी पी एम सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम थाउजेंड पी पी एम सोल्यूशन सो इट इज पॉसिबल ओनली बाई एडिशन ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन दिस सोल्यूशन एंड इफ आई एम एडिंग सॉल्वेंट इन दिस सोल्यूशन इट मीन्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्रीज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ओरिजिनल सोल्यूशन सो द डायल्यूशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन बाय एडिशन ऑफ solvent so basically two types of dilution is there one is serial dilution second one is non serial dilution uh, in serial dilution i put uh, one example here if uh, this is a 1000 ppm stock solution and uh, i am preparing 100 ppm stock solution from 1000 ppm stock solution and 10 ppm solution i am preparing it from 100 ppm solution so this is nothing but the serial dilution and in case of non serial dilution i am making 100 ppm solution and 10 ppm solution both from 1000 ppm stock solution but here not the case like uh, these uh, here uh, i am preparing 100 ppm from 1000 ppm solution and 10 ppm from 100 ppm solution but in case of non serial dilution i am preparing 100 and 10 ppm both the solution from 1000 ppm stock solution so the serial dilution all the standards are made by diluting the previous standards and in case of non serial dilution all the standards are made from the one stock solution now we will see the measurement units so first measurement unit is gram second is milligram third one is microgram so 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram and 1 milligram is equal to 1000 microgram so these measurement unit and these things which we should know before calculating the concentration of our solution now we will see how to calculate the concentration of solution so here i taken one example i am taking 5 mg of drug into 100 ml of solvent so it will give a stock solution now what is the actual concentration of this stock solution so for this there is a calculation i am taking 5 mg of drug into 100 ml of solvent so how much mg of drug is present in 1 ml so for this i need to do cross multiplication so 1 multiplied by 5 divided by 100 so it will give 0.05 mg per ml means 0.05 mg of drug is present in 1 ml now we need to convert this mg per ml into microgram per ml so as we know 1 mg is equal to 1000 microgram so we need to multiply this 0.05 by 1000 so it will give 0.05 multiplied by 1000 microgram per ml or we can say that 50 microgram per ml or 50 ppm solution so now here how to make 10 ppm and 5 ppm solution from stock solution so previously we made a stock solution which was of 50 ppm so from that 50 ppm stock solution how should i make 10 ppm and 5 ppm solution so for this there is a one formula this is the volume of stock solution it means how many ml of stock solution we are going to pipette out and this is the concentration of that stock solution the stock solution which we are going to use for making dilution now this is the volume of volumetric flask means the volumetric flask which we are going to use for making dilution so now if uh, i want to make a 5 ppm solution from previously stock solution which was of uh, 50 ppm so i am taking 1 ml of uh, stock solution it means i am pipetting out 1 ml from stock solution which was of 50 ppm concentration so concentration of that stock solution was 50 ppm so here i will keep keep 50 now this is the volume of volumetric flask it means that 10 ml of volumetric flask i am going to use so once i will calculate it so it will give 5 microgram per ml now here how to make 10 ppm solution from previously made stock solution which was of 50 ppm so i am pipetting out 1 ml of stock solution its concentration was 50 ppm and i am diluting it to 5 ml here it means i am using 5 ml volumetric flask so it can give 10 microgram per ml but uh, on college level it is very difficult to get a 5 ml volumetric flask so for that uh, we can modify it if uh, i will pipette out to 2 ml 
and I will if I will dilute it to 10 ml here it means I am using 10 ml volumetric flux so it can also give 10 microgram per ml then third possibility is that if I will pipette out 4 ml of stock solution its concentration was 50 ppm and if I will dilute it to 20 ml means I am using 20 ml volumetric flux so it can also give 10 microgram per ml and but here 4 ml pipette it is also very difficult to go get in college level so for that we can again modify it if uh, i will pipette out 5 ml and if uh, i will dilute it to 25 ml so it can also give 10 microgram per ml so these are the various uh, ways for diluting and for dilution so how should i make a 10 ppm from 50 ppm stock solution so it depends on our it depends on the availability of the glassware on college level so accordingly we need to change and we need to adjust such things and we need to adjust such formula and accordingly we can make a dilution friends if you like this video please share it like it do comment and don't forget to subscribe channel cell